I totally agree. Let's get to the big games this week. Let's go ahead. This is our pick six, week one. Now let's start out. UGA, Ugga against the Clemson Tigers. It's, yo, JT Daniels, who we faced off against when he was at USC. And of course, uh, DJ Uagalele, the performance he put up, 400 yards he put up on Notre Dame last year in that double overtime loss. This comes down, because both defenses do. Stout. Both defenses are stout. I don't think anybody runs the ball in this game. I think, <laughs> Georgia, I think Georgia would be more committed to the run because that's what they do. But it comes down to the quarterbacks. It does. Yeah. I uh, I got Georgia, honestly. I think Georgia has, has gotten the right things together with Kirby Smart. They got JT Daniels, who's, who's, who's in that position now confidently. He's very talented. I think if he didn't get hurt at USC, we wouldn't be talking about Slovic. We'd right. still be talking about JT. But he gets a chance to go down there. And, and, and get his, his feet under him in his second year at starting the helm, he's healthy. And then just Clemson, I think they don't they don't know their superstars outside of DJ just yet. Right. I think Georgia's got it figured out. They just need to be healthy. Both defenses are gonna do what they do. But like you said, the quarterback position is gonna make a difference. George Pickens, I got him in my Heisman top. I think he's Devontae Smith good. And he's going to make a big showing on that first game. So I got Georgia. George Pickens going to pick him up. Pick up the TD. Yeah, it's, still, it's still a game time decision. Uh, Pickens injured his knee back in March. So he's okay. coming back from that. Uh, we still don't know if he's going to play the first game. But if he plays in game one, that's a heck of a recovery. That's my guy. From ACL in March. But he is the game changer the game for Georgia. Changer. He's the game changer. This second game, we're talking about it because of the marquee of the name. But we already know. Alabama takes on Miami. Bryce Young, he is the big name on the marquee for this matchup. Come on, man. Uh, look. I, it just don't they, Miami just doesn't have enough. Yeah. And I like De'Ara King a lot. I like him too. I like <laughs> him a lot, man. But my heart goes out to him this week because I I look, Miami's talented. But I just don't think they understand the relentless, the relentlessness that they're about to face no. on both sides of the ball. If Colin Murray couldn't do more against Alabama's defense, I'm not liking De'Ara King shot. No. And Colin Murray is Colin Murray. Yeah. And he was even looking a little. And that was Colin little... Murray with C D Lamb. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if we looking at that as a model of what Miami can do, yeah, man, I don't think it'll, 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 I don't think it look good. And I'll give you a little tip in that other Clemson game. Clemson's win total, if you're a betting man, is eleven and a half. That could be over for you. <laughs> if they lose, the, the, I don't know if that's a safe bet. I'm not betting the over right there. I don't there. think you said that either. Uh, I'll take that. And then Alabama's minus eighteen and a half. Look here. <laughs> Lay big money on Bama, okay? <laughs> 18, no, and no half, 18 and a half is nowhere near enough. No way. No, it's nowhere near enough. Yeah, yeah. Bama. yeah, yeah LSU. Bama. LSU has been displaced, of course, through the Hurricane Ida, and uh, our prayers go down to everyone in that area of the country. And I think they're still without electricity, so mm -hmm. hopefully uh, that area can get back to some sense of normalcy. They've been displaced, but they face L UCLA this week. UCLA looked okay. The run game, they got the transfer Charbonnet from Michigan. He was dominant against Hawaii last week. Uh, yeah, but that, that run game is not going. It's not going to operate the same going up against that LSU defense. UCLA is a very, a very good, cute team to be eight and four, maybe you know six and six if they yeah. are not careful. Uh, and they just, you just think of toughness, the scale of toughness for teams like that. They, they lay in the middle. You know, they yeah. can, they can fold or, or put up a good fight, but more likely fold. And when it gets later in the season, they get worse. So, I like Dorian 
at, at quarterback. I think Dorian Walker is his last, Walker's last name. Or yeah, Walker Robinson. He struggled a little bit against Hawaii. I, I think he's got some talent, but it's just, yeah. I mean, we talking about serious football now when you're coming down to playing LSU with Derek Stingley and, and that defensive front. So I think they started off good with Hawaii, but you know, they have a tough, tough battle. Against yeah. LSU. Your receivers won't be as, as open as they were against Hawaii, my friend. That is DB. That is the school for defensive backs, yeah. cornerbacks, and safeties when you go to face LSU. So and you might be running for your life, depending on who they got back there, linebacker. So. Yep. <laughs> uh, over under at 47, I'm going to take the under. Yeah. I think it's going to be tough to score. That's just a tip. Uh, Penn State against Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin, just for me, I'm a big fan of Coach Chris. I think he's a top five quarterback. I mean, top five head coach in college football. I wanted to play for him. Uh, I didn't I didn't end up taking it, but very smart guy. I just think he's going to have that team ready to play Penn State. I think Penn State's a front-running team. They got a lot of good talent, but for some reason, they just – I think Northwestern has surpassed them in the Big Ten. You know, when it comes to the teams that are wow. ranking under Ohio State, I think Northwestern has made a bit a bigger and better push than what Penn State should be. I mean, they had Saquon and wasn't looking good against Ohio State that year they played. So, a lot of question marks over at Penn State, but I, I like the consistency from Wisconsin to pull it out. Yeah, I was always pulling for Coach Franklin. Uh, to be able to reestablish things at Penn State and be successful has been a struggle. Of course, last year, I really don't blame anybody during that COVID season. Truncated schedule, everything was crazy. The Big Ten started later than everybody else. So Penn State and Wisconsin both kind of struggled. But I think, like I said, Graham Mertz is the guy. They have the better quarterback. The running game, the offensive line is going to be good, even though they won't be as veteran-led as usual. But I still look for Wisconsin who's getting five and a half. I look for them to cover, and I look for them to win this game uh, straight up. So, yeah, I'm with you right there. I'm with you right there. Iowa against Indiana. This is the return of Michael Penix Jr. I think Indiana got this one. I'm a big fan of Indiana. Indiana's got one of those Indiana-type teams that can upset in Ohio State this year due to the fact that they got a solid enough quarterback this year. Yeah. They've always had some players. Now, they've always had like a Cody Lattimore or, you know, a Shane Wynn, uh, just a, a guy or two that'll just be like, oh, he stands out, you know, and yeah. they'll start hot one drive and get a couple things going. And I really like that quarterback in Indiana. I like what he was doing last year. Uh, they, they'll, they'll deserve a lot more respect in the Big Ten this year. And I think they'll start off with a, with a win against Iowa. All right. Your team that could jump up and bite Notre Dame. They have a chance to jump up and bite Sam Howe. Week one, it is North Carolina against Virginia Tech. I think Sam Howe is, is ranked high enough in the beginning drafted to where he's got to win this game. I yeah. think this is a, yeah. a game where everybody is expecting him to win and he needs to perform well to, to keep that, that spot of where he's projected for the draft. And I think he knows that. Coach Mack knows that. And so... They're going to do everything they can to put him on display. So I got them winning. Uh, it's going to be tough, but it'll be a good game for them to start off the season right for the victory. You're listening to the Lucky Lefty Podcast with Malik Zaire. Never will there ever be another like me. Um, you can play the left because it ain't no right at me. And Sean is.